Hey, what's up everyone? Adam here with Broadway Got This, and today we are back with the beginner series, and this is episode four of this series. And so in this episode, we are going to cover the best way to earn money or gold as a low-level player. This is such an easy method, and it is so simple. And so I'm excited to get into that so you guys can make some of your first gold in this game to really get you some you know upgrades and anything that you would like to buy that is reasonable in my opinion if you guys and gals have not been watching this series i will have all three episodes and a playlist linked below in the description so you can catch up on it but basically the point of this series is i go through on a brand new account or character on the eu server from level one to level 160 cp and i show you every single thing that i do for the most part uh, on how I would level up and how I would create my character and how I would go about and progress through the game. Because a lot of people have questions on what do you do for this? What do you do for that? And so this is what the point of the series is. So I cover a bunch of massive points for beginners as I go through those levels. And so I'm not gonna go through everything that I did in the first three episodes, but essentially we've covered a lot of ground already and we're only level 18. We've opened up a lot of skill lines, a lot of guild lines. We've covered crafting, researching, questing, mount speed, PVP. There's all types of things that we have covered. So make sure you do not miss that in the other episodes. They are there for you all. But real quick, I'd like to give a shout out to all my patrons. Thank you so much for all the support. Uh, it really does mean a lot. If you'd like to become a patron, check out the link below in the description uh, to get all the perks. And you can always come and watch me play live on twitch.tv slash probably got this. Uh, and we have a Discord that has over 4,600 members in there. Very, very helpful. So come and join those. All those links are below in the description. And lastly, a lot of beginner content and builds are on our website at brobbygotthis.com. So please come and check that, out that website. It is fantastic. So last episode, we did leave off, uh, and we basically were questing, and I told you I would have some of this area done. I don't really have this area done. I haven't been able to get it done, but I'm just doing a few quests right now. But the main thing, like I said, that I want to focus on for this video is I want to explain to you all the best way to earn gold as a beginner, okay? Now, there are multiple ways that you can do this. Uh, it does not have to be just this method, uh, but I wanted to explain that I tried in these beginner series to keep uh, as best as I can, I try to keep it um, base game oriented, okay? But for this episode, I have to mention this method because this is something that you just cannot pass down as a beginner. But I will explain a few base game methods as well that you can get gold with. So the method that I wanna talk about today is the antiquity system, okay? The antiquity system is fantastic for making gold. It's not just good for making gold at a beginner level, it's good for making gold when you're a medium player level or even like a high-end level player because it's consistent, okay? Now, in order to have the antiquity system, okay, the antiquity system is this right here where you see right here. We unlock this in episode one. So if you wanna go watch that episode, you can learn how to unlock it. It's very simple. It takes like two seconds as soon as you spawn into the world. But in order to get this system, you either have to have ESO Plus because it comes with Graymore, okay? Um, or you have to um, have the actual Graymore expansion. Now, Again, if you have ESO Plus, that will come with that. And if you bought the Blackwood edition of the game, you should have Greymore included, so you should have Antiquities. But what I'm going to do for the channel, I'm going to give away two copies of Greymore. And so what you'll need to do is just comment below down in the comment section, letting me know that you are looking for the Greymore uh, expansion, and I will do a uh, drawing for this, okay? But we are going to talk about Antiquities. And like I said, we will go through some other methods that if you do not have Antiquities, you can do that will still get you some consistent gold, okay? And so the reason antiquities are fantastic ways to make money is I want you to see right here. Every single zone in the game has uh, a set of base antiquities that you can get, green, blue, and purple, okay? So Ardon has it, uh, you know, Green Shade has it, Reaper's March has it, every single zone in the game has it, okay? The cool thing about this is you can keep doing those over and over again. So since each zone has those, I want you to see right here, this antiquity sells for 250 gold flat, okay? It does not change, it does not fluctuate, you do not have to sell this to a player, you can sell this to a merchant for 250 flat, all right? So, what that means is if you multiply just one of the greens in each zone, let me tell you the calculation and the money that you'll make just from doing that, okay? Real quick, I'll be right back. So, 
if my calculations are correct, I got around 8,500 gold, okay? And now that might be a little bit off because I might have miscounted the zones, but that is just one gold piece in, or that is just one green piece in each zone. Okay? And then for the blue and the purple, there's even more gold to be had. So we're going to do our first antiquity, and I'm going to give you guys some tips as we do them, and I will show you why this method is a great way to earn gold in ESO as a beginner. So what you'll need to do is if you are in the zone that is, this antiquity is here, you need to make sure that you are actually in the zone because if you're not, you cannot scry it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go, we're going to double click this. And it's going to bring up our scrying tablet. Okay, I have a beginner antiquity guide and an advanced antiquity guide on the website and in the channel if you want to check out uh, more of that. But basically with antiquities, the the basics of it are you want to make paths to these uh little like dark hole looking things right and you need to collectively get uh symbols that match so these little like star symbols you see how there's like four right here that allows us to get a good start right so we're going to click that and this is going to open up that so we don't have a lot of passives right now and this is why i tell you guys to quest because we're going to get a lot of skill points from questing in this beginner series so you're going to have skill points left over to use for antiquities because you are going to need this antiquities are a great system and they're very helpful for the end game so i recommend investing in antiquities so we're just going to make our way to each of these we don't have any passives right now so we are going to struggle a little bit with this we're not going to probably be able to complete this uh fully because we do not again we do not have any passives and that is literally our first one so the the uh, if you do not get all of them, what happens is, is it shows you a play, it shows you, uh, locations, right? The amount of, uh, like dark holes, you can call them that you do not, uh, complete will give you a added false, uh, digging site. So we have two sites here. One of these is not going to be an antiquity. Okay. Like your the antiquity is going to not be in one of these. It's just going to be in the other one. So we kind of just have to guess where this antiquity is going to be. The reason antiquities are also very fun is because it allows us to traverse the world, okay? And it allows us to pick up mages books, do quests, do world bosses, do sky shards, and it is actually very, very fun. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our way up to this site and we're gonna collect things as we go. And another thing that's really nice about that, and this is why I gave you this tip uh, in the previous episodes, is you want to get your mount speed up and you want to um, get your uh, continuous attack passive from pvp and it takes 20 minutes or less to do that and i show you that in the previous video so make sure to go back and watch those and you might ask like adam what are we going to do with the money that we get like why are we trying to make money at an early um level and so this is something y'all that i did not have when i was a low level character antiquities was not in the game when i played this game at this level okay i played this game five six years ago at this level and so the reason i'm showing you all this is because i believe that antiquities are something that low level players should invest in okay now if you don't want to do antiquities at this level and you just want to focus on quests and everything that's totally fine but i just recommend doing them as you go because if you do them as you go they're not that difficult and it's simultaneously getting you gold like just free gold basically and it's getting you uh progress because a lot of people will wait to do antiquities and then they'll have to grind it at the end of, you know, grinding a bunch of quests or, you know, what, whatever that, you know, whatever you want to put insert into that. And a lot of people get burned out from actually grinding antiquities. So I recommend doing these as you're questing as a new player, because this is something again, that I did not have, uh, when I played. And if I did, I would have done this, uh, if I would have known about it because, Again, it's just something that's, uh, it's just, it's going to save you a lot of time in the long run because they're just so simple. You can do them as you quest. You don't, there's, there's no really, um, added, you know, extra steps you need to do. We're just going to be going to this area anyways, just to, just to show you guys the process and everything. But to answer the question about why, you know, we can do these, uh, right now at a low level, that answers that part of that. But the goal that you get from that you can actually use for mount trainings, you can get bag space upgrades because y'all, bag space upgrades is going to be something that you really, really do want as a low level player. And you will thank me later when you actually have a full bag space. And so getting gold in an early uh, level is seriously very helpful. And if you wanna spend them on some motif styles to look cool, you could do that too. But I would just recommend upgrading your spaces because that's gonna be something that is extremely helpful. And 
you can eventually get a house and everything like that and put things in your house and that's really fun too as a new player but we're not going to go super into housing right now just because again we're not trying to get too overwhelmed and if you guys like this series make sure to like subscribe heavy attack that bell icon to stay up to date on all the content in the channel liking this video really does support the channel and it helps push the videos out even farther so thank you so much for doing that if you can like it try to like it it does really help the series as we go we're picking up quests and we are just gonna have that right here that i talked to the wrong guy okay so now that we're in this area you see that we're in this blue area for antiquities what i want you to do is this is something that i learned from outcast but this was a long time ago when antiquities came out is you can put um your antiquarian eye that you get where's it at antiquarian eye that you get from uh doing you know you, you get this just in general because you need this uh to scry you can put it on your quick slot bar okay and so what you do is you put your antiquarian eye you equip it you press q and this shows you the direction of the antiquity so you see where that tail is where the where the stream is shooting towards that's the area of the dig site so you go this way okay so we're gonna head this way and we'll keep going we'll keep going um and again, you'll get some passives eventually that are going to really help you with this, uh, which we will get into later. But um, so I haven't seen it. Y'all, there it is right there. Um, I'm getting these lore books right now. So right there, this is the dig site. So what we're going to do is we're going to excavate. Okay, so we're going to go. So that was a false site, as you saw. So as we excavated, it was not here. So that's what happens when we do not get all of those dark holes. Um, that means that the actual dig site is up here. So we're going to make our way up there. Again, this is good for our explore, uh, exploration because look, now if we want to come up here, we have this way shrine, this way shrine. We're about to grab uh, this way shrine, this way shrine. It's going to be awesome. And we're going to get a lot of these mages books as well. And again, this is something that you guys can do uh, to your liking. Um, if you want to quest as you go through up here and just kind of do that um, like multitask, please do it. Be my guest. Again, I recommend that in some ways. I'm just doing this for the sake of the video right now because I'm trying to basically show you how to do antiquities, um, why it's such a good money-making method because it is just, it, it's going to make you so much passive gold that you're really just gonna be like, oh my gosh, what have I been doing? But I'm picking up every quest that I come across because I will be doing these quests. Almost went the wrong way there. But I'm telling you all, you want to get the continuous attack passive because it's gonna help your mount speed out so much. We're 30% right now which is so much better. But this is the part of ESO that is really fun, in my opinion. I mean, again, you just get to like explore the zones. I mean, you don't even have to do this with just Ardon, y'all. You can do this in any zone. So don't feel like you have to do this in Ardon. This is just a sample zone that you do this in, but it's so fun to just explore zone. Like I actually miss doing this. This series has been so fun for me. And if some of you are wondering like, hey Adam, like what is, you know, like a base game way to make gold? So one of the ways y'all that I do recommend is just doing questing. Just from doing questing and killing mobs by doing quests, you're going to get um, good amounts of gold. Like I think I ended up after doing like a lot of the quests in the game, I ended up having like, and this is after spinning gold too, I ended up having close to 400K gold, which is solid just by passively questing. Now that doesn't, you know, that's gonna take a little bit. It's not gonna be like really, really fast. But honestly, just questing and doing overland content, you will be making gold, okay? You will be making gold. Another thing too is just really like making sure you loot all the chests that you see and the harvest nodes as well because by doing that, you're going to have chances on getting some materials that can sell for a lot. And so that's also something that I would recommend for the base game. But I highly recommend you all investing in antiquities because it is the most surefire way for beginners to earn gold in the game it's so easy and you're going to see that here once we complete this okay so we're in this area again so we're going to use our antiquarian eye so it tells us to go this way um it looks like it's probably going to be on this other side of this like mountain thing probably so we're going to go over here it's a big like little mountain area also, there it is right there this is the excavation site so we're going to kill this wolf all right we're going to excavate <clears throat> All right, so here's the excavation screen. So this might look a little confusing to you. Again, I have a guide on this if you want. But what this auger does, this allows you to find the area that the antiquity's in. So we have nine charges to find this. And you're going to eventually have more tools over here once we level up your antiquities. But right there, it's not even close to that. 
So this means that this is just very far away, basically. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click right here. Orange means that we're closer, but it's not the closest of the clues. And then yellow is the, uh, like I said, the closest um, from the antiquity. So once we hit green, we know we are on the antiquity directly. So as you see that like highlighted area, right? What that means is this antiquity is within this highlighted area. But here's a tip that you can have as a beginner when doing uh, excavation. This red up here means that it is literally like nowhere close to um, up here, right? And this orange one means it's not up here either. Why would the antiquity be up here if the if the yellow one's here? It, it wouldn't. So you don't need to be guessing up here, okay? Where it probably is, is somewhere down here. So I'm gonna put right here. So you see green. That means that we're on the antiquity directly. So we'll go around, it's probably down here. Yeah, it's probably in the corner, as you see. Okay, so it's probably just a four by four. But you see how that shows you kind of where the antiquity is. Now with the hand brush, this is gonna remove one layer of dirt, okay? So we do not have any passives. So we're just gonna remove every single layer of dirt. So we're not gonna go into um this stuff in an advanced way until we get passives but we found the antiquity by just doing that now you can uncover bonus items as well um again we're just gonna do some random areas we don't really like it's gonna be kind of hard for us to really find a lot of bonus things we just did somehow but um we did uh so i want to i want to explain though from our bonus loot we got 156 gold okay as a new player that's that's not a bad amount of gold just from doing this Okay, and we also got the green antiquity. And now what happens is you open up the blue antiquity, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'll show you. We're gonna exit out of the screen. We're gonna go to our antiquity and you're gonna see right here, scale etched slither pipe, all right? In order to do this, we need to have two out of five antiquarian insight on our passives, okay? So antiquarian insight right here, we need this to be at uh, rank uh, four basically, or rank three, I'm sorry. And this will allow us to do blue antiquity. But as you can see, you can get a blue antiquity for a thousand gold, okay? So you multiply that by 34 and you're at 34,000 gold just from doing the blue antiquities from each zone. That's a lot of gold, you all, okay? But the cool thing is y'all, okay? We can't do this blue one yet, but guess what we can do? The green one, we can keep doing the green one, y'all. We can just keep doing it. It does not have a limit. So we're getting 250 gold every time we do this because look, it's in our inventory right now. So we go to our items right here, 250 gold. It's always gonna sell for 250 gold. Plus we got another extra 156 gold from doing this. So if you wanna power level your antiquities, getting a smaller zone is the best way to do that, to level up and to get uh, that gold. So. What we can do is we can stay in Ardon if we want, or we can go over to um, Canarthi's Roost and we can do um, Antiquities here. Now, I don't know if I wanna do that necessarily. I kinda wanna stay in Ardon just because I want to get some of these locations unlocked so we can actually quest. So I'm just gonna stay here and I'm gonna keep doing this green thing. So I'll see you back when we get to another one. So we're gonna scry this one real quick. And so let's see, that's a huge path right there. So that's gonna help us out a lot. This is gonna, again, these are very helpful. Um, you wanna make sure that you are um, that you are clearing out as much of these as you can so you do not have any fake ones. Because again, um, you just don't want false sites because it just uh, you, you know spends less time going to the false sites. So look, we got all six of them. So that's something that is really good. So you'll see here, it'll check all those off. And the site we need to go to is right around us, okay? Perfect, so let's go ahead and head over to that site. As we go to that site, we're gonna collect a lore book. Um, so we are over here now, and we're gonna use our antiquarian eye. It tells us to go right here. Oh, here's the antiquity right here. We're gonna go ahead and excavate it, and we're gonna get this green one again. So we use our auger. Uh, we're really far away. We'll go over here, yellow, yellow, probably right here. All right, we'll clear this dirt, and we found the bonus loot already. So we got that again. We got a bear, uh, bear bristle brush, um, and that is going to sell for more gold. Again, more and more gold, y'all. Okay, so let's go to our um, antiquarian eye again, and we can do this again. The thing again that I would recommend you all trying out is doing these in every zone because when you do these in every zone, it unlocks the blue ones. We're just staying in Ardon currently because I just want to try to get a lot of these locales. Um, that's really the only reason why we're staying in Ardon, um, but. 
going to other zones. So just, you know, green shade, Somerset, whatever zones you have, that is going to unlock the next tier for you. You might not be able to do it yet based off your level, but it will unlock for you all. Um, and that's something that's really nice. And again, those antiquity gold prices are uniform across every zone. It does not matter. Each green is going to be 250. Each blue is going to be 1,000. And I believe purple is like 5,000. I can't remember um, off the top of my head, but I think it's like somewhere around 5,000 or 2,500. It's insane. And that, y'all, again, is going to be selling 100%. You don't have to wait. So again, it's just fantastic. So a practice that I would get into, y'all, is when you go to every zone, again, if you're following this to a T, that's fine. But if you're kind of going off on your own, every zone that you're in, get your antiquities done, okay? Do your antiquities and sit there and farm them a little bit like I'm doing. If you, wanna, if you want to speed that process up, go to a smaller zone because you have smaller zone uh, zones to cover with that or smaller area to cover. But make sure that you are doing that in every zone because it's just going to be free money. It's literally free money in the game. Hey, and y'all, I do try to upload these as fast as I can, but it does take me a little bit um, to make sure I get some quality content out to you guys in each episode. So I hope you guys are fine being patient with that. I know some of you might have out leveled me already. I don't know if you have, but I would just say that if you are at the point that I'm at and you're wondering like what to do next, I, it's never, you're never gonna be wrong in this game, in my opinion, when it comes to how you play it. Um, but quest, you know, clear zones. That's something I would say that if you're waiting for the next episode, just make sure you're, um, just make sure you're clearing zones uh, because that will then at least have those done for you. Um, and so that's just something I would recommend if you're like currently like, okay, what do I do now? Adam's not up at this point yet. Do that, okay? I'm telling you, it will be helpful. Okay, so we're gonna excavate this site now. Found the bonus item, nice. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We can literally keep doing the green over and over again. And we just got excavation to level two, which is fantastic. We have not gotten our antiquarian inside up, but what we did do is we get our we got our scrying up to two. Okay, so it grants us an additional turn of scrying. So we're gonna go ahead and definitely put points into that. And then coalescence is going to give us a bonus thing. So I'll show you what that is on the next uh, on the next uh, one that we scry. Now, again, if you're worried about your skill points, don't worry about them, okay? I'm telling you, it's, it is very, very uh, useful to put your points into scrying and excavation, okay? I'm telling you right now, it really, really is. Um, you will have plenty of skill points when we're done with this um, series because we're going to be questing, like I said. You're going to be able to get all your skills, so don't worry about that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to scry one more green, and then we're going to go and sell the treasures that we get. And I'll show you why. Again, this is so, so simple. So what we got is we have one of these charges up here. This is going to be our, like, special bar. Coalescence is going to allow us to change clusters. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So Basically, what Coalescence does is it takes the center icon that you have in the center of this, like, little shape, and it changes all the ones outside of it to that icon. So if we wanted to uh, make this a massive little... Um, like a massive little like hurricane symbol. Look, watch, when I use coalescence, that it changes all those to that, right? So what we're gonna do is we're going to click this and then we're gonna click this and it gives us a huge little, uh, like little massive charge, right? So now what we're gonna do is we get another charge because we just got two of these little black hole things. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change this to that and it's gonna give us this big section right here. Let me get this big section right here, so there there we really don't even need to use this but we'll just do that and there we go we finished it once you get coalescence coalescence is one of the best things that you can get for scrying it's so good like it is literally so so good all right where are we at now we're all the way over here okay cool 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 so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and get this done and now you might say too like adam like you know what's the point again of getting your scrying and excavation up is it just for gold no it's not it's not just for gold so Scrying and excavation is going to allow you to be able to get uh, motif pages. Uh, it's going to allow you to get mythic items that are really good, like Ring of the Pale Order, uh, Wild Hunt, Sithis Helm, all these mythics that are coming out that are very powerful. This is a system that they're going to keep increasing. So there's going to mythics, mythic items are going to be in the game for basically ever. Um, and so it's something that you want to definitely invest in. But those motif pages that you get, you can sell those for a good bit of gold too. Okay. And so those you can find in like chests like the leads for those and everything. It's actually something that, again, is just a very useful skill line that I would 
always recommend investing in. So we found this dig site. So, we're, so we got the trial now. What the trial does is it removes three layers of dirt from a one by one area. This is amazing, okay? Amazing. But what we gotta do is we gotta find the excavation first. We're right on it. Nice. That was kind of lucky. I think it's gonna be horizontal. Oh no, it's right here. There we go. All right, so what we can do is we'll just use the trial and show you what that does. It goes all the way to the bottom, or three layers of dirt, not necessarily all, all the way to the bottom, but we'll just do this, try to find um, some bonus uh, some bonus pieces of loot. We might not find any, but that's okay. There we go, bonus loot. And got another 100 gold just from that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to town. I did four green antiquities, and so what that does is this allows us to... Um, have some stuff that we can sell to a merchant. So we're going to go to the merchants um, over here in uh, you know, Ardon, and we're going to get some gold for this. Something we already did is we already increased our mount speed for the day, so we don't need to do that. We're also going to do some researching as well to make sure we are catching up on that. I've not been able to log on every single day with this account, which is okay, but we're going to make sure that we go ahead and do that. And if you all have any questions on like what you should be doing uh, or what you think uh, you would want me to show through this series, leave a comment down below in the description. Because again, I really want to hear your all's feedback and I can you know try to help as best I can. So we're gonna go to any of these merchants. We'll go to this person right here and we're gonna go to the clothier. Okay, we're gonna go to sell. Okay, so we have four, um, four of these Festival of Defiance tokens. We're gonna sell these. Right there, we just made a thousand gold just from that, okay? We also have this bristle uh, brush, which is 40 gold. We have the earthenware jar, which is 40 gold. And we made 200, we made around 250 gold just from uh, doing the antiquity. So right there, we gained close to 1500 gold um, just by spending around 20 to 25 minutes doing antiquities, okay? And mind you, we're we're at low level antiquities, you all. Okay, we're not at high level antiquities. We have the base stat. So this is at the very very base stats, at the at a big zone. Okay, Ardon's a big zone. So if you were to go, if you were to go to um, Canarthi's Roost or any of the tutorial islands, look how small this zone is. You can traverse this zone in about half the amount of time that it takes you to do what we just did in Ardon. Okay, if you wanted to grind this for an hour you could make way more than a thousand gold from just doing the green antiquities, okay? This is why this method is so good for low level players. Right now we're sitting at 4,500 gold at level 18, okay? You can make 10K gold doing this by spending a few hours or less just grinding the green antiquities, okay? Once you get to the blue antiquities, once you can do blue antiquities, that's a thousand gold per blue antiquity. And I believe, like I said, when you get to the purple ones, you can do 5,000 gold per antiquity. Now, I think the purple one is not something that you can keep doing. The purple one is just a one-time thing. But the green and the blue ones, I believe, are always uh, always ones that you can do. I know the green ones are. I have to check on the blue ones. But this is just, again, you just made 1,500 gold in about 25 minutes, okay? Just from doing antiquities, you picked up about five lore books, by going through here, picked about about three to four way shrines. You picked up some quests that we have not done, obviously, and you gained one thousand five hundred gold, roughly. Okay, and again, that was on a big zone. So if you did this on a small zone, you're making even more gold. This, in my opinion, is the best way to make gold as a low level player, and it's honestly, it's a great way to make gold if you're a high level player because. It's consistent. You never have to wait on selling it. It's never going to change. You can always do it, okay? Now, like I said, a few other ways you can do this if you do not have antiquities. And again, I would recommend getting antiquities. It is so helpful for the game, okay? If you do not have antiquities and you're looking to make gold as a new player, I would say that there's towns everywhere in the game that you can steal from. Uh, you can get, there's like stealing routes. I don't have every stealing route possible in the game, but there's many videos on this out there. And that's a great way to make gold. Looting chests, looting uh, crafting nodes, great way to make gold. Doing quests, great way to make gold. Um, those are all things that are going to help you increase your gold amount through time, okay? But that is what I wanted to show you on this episode of the Beginner Guide. We are going to research a few items real quick um, while we're at the end of this. But something I want to say again is that 
If there's something that I'm not covering in this that you would like to know, let me know down in the comments below and I'll try to include those in a uh, video, okay? Because again, I want us to make sure that uh, we are helping new players out. Like I want to be able to come alongside of you in this series. And I know in the last episode, I think I said I was going to cover some other things, but I, I thought of this and I wanted to cover this because this is something I want you to start doing at an early level because I promise you y'all, that grinding antiquities when you're at max level or when you're higher level, like a higher level than um, you are now, it kind of sucks, okay? Like, it, it kind of sucks. Like, grinding antiquity levels, like getting to mythic uh, level items, um, it kind of sucks doing that. So, if you can do this at a low level and just do it as you go, you're going to you're gonna thank me later, okay? You're, you're going to be so thankful for that because... Y'all, again, it's not hard, literally. You could just do antiquities as you go up this map. And again, we will complete this map. Like that is my goal is we're gonna complete this and we're gonna go to another zone. But I wanted to cover that before we go any further in the beginner series episodes. But again, if you guys are liking these episodes, please like, subscribe, heavy attack that bell icon to stay up to date on all the content in the channel. That would be really appreciated. Um, again, that really helps the channel out. But um, I do appreciate all your support with these and let me know what you'd like to see covered on the next one if I'm not already going to cover it. Uh, make sure to come by our Twitch stream and you can join the Discord as well and check out our website at brobbygotthis.com. But until next time, y'all, just remember to have faith to be great and I'll see you on ESO.